This presentation will be assessing the impact of the redesign of Vanella Fabrique in Rotterdam. The analysis is broken down into five indicators. Jan will address the conservation domain, Ruben the reuse, Nancy the architecture, Magdalena the sustainability and Minju the heritage. A final impact assessment and crash code will combine all of the domains. Vanella Fabrique in Rotterdam was constructed between 1925 to 31 and designed by architects Brinkman and Van der Bloot. It was built as a modern state-of-the-art factory for Vanella, producers of coffee, tea and tobacco. The director was inspired by modern technological advancements, resulting in the innovative use of steel, concrete and glass. Vanella Fabrique underwent refurbishment between 1999 and 2004 under the architect Bessel de Jonge and was placed on the UNESCO World Heritage List in 2014. It was designed to accommodate the shift in program from industrial to offices and event space. The following analysis will be focusing on the tobacco, coffee and tea factories. To assess the impact of the intervention regarding conservation, three indicators were chosen. Durability, or how the deterioration process is contained to ensure that the aesthetic quality remains. Reversibility, or to what extent the intervention can be voided to get back to the previous state, especially important when it's about high historical value. And lastly, reachability, or how new interventions remain possible to maintain the present state. The Vanella factory adaptive reuse is a good example of an intervention where most efforts were oriented towards the reversal of previous interventions. Non-original reinforcing structures got removed, floors got recast with a new finish, and interior walls got added. On the opposite, facades have been kept single glazed and their uniformity has been restored, while surfaces have been repainted and retiled. In terms of impact, materials used are of high quality, and if maintained regularly will ensure long durability to the intervention. They are also easy to identify, and most added non-original parts are discardable. This makes it entirely possible to reverse the intervention back to the original state of the building. Lastly, most materials used for surface treatments are easy to find and apply, facilitating future retreatments. In terms of reuse, three indicators were chosen to evaluate the spatial functionality of the building based on computational result. Starting with the floor plan, the building was then deconstructed and translated into a series of model data and networks in order to develop further analysis. The diversity of space went higher especially in the old tobacco factory thanks for the newly added function. As a likely consequence, with more spaces, the accessibility went lower accordingly. Meanwhile, although the highest ranking spots differs, the integral centrality figures stayed alike. Despite visual graphs, we also achieved some relatively accurate and objective result in terms of numbers to make the final evaluation. After interpreting the numbers by subtractions and correlations accordingly and critically, the truth of spatial reuse of this building shall be revealed. For evaluating the redesign in the architecture domain, three indicators of space connection and detail have been reviewed. The space indicator regards the typical open plan floor plates. Connection assesses views in, out and between the buildings through the large spans of clear glazing. Lastly, details, analysing the colours used for internal design aspects. Each indicator is assessed for the degree of change and the compatibility of design. Quantitative analysis describes the degree of change through added remaining and subtracted areas. Space and detail show moderate degrees of change, whereas connection is only slight. The presence of change cannot equate to a positive or negative result without equally qualifying its compatibility. The framework describes how the qualitative and quantitative results measure the impact. The degree of compatibility is assessed on three points, measuring disruption to the DNA, design authenticity and relation to context. The web shows the balanced result of indicators before in grey and redesign in red. A hidden numerical scale measures the final impact. There are three indicators in the sustainability domain utilised in the analysis. The environmental indicator concerns the reduction of thermal heat loss, the social indicator analyses the access to natural light, and the economic indicator considers the degree of design flexibility. These indicators are all intrinsically linked through the consideration active limiting of resources. The indicators were analysed before and after the intervention according to the specified framework. Thermal heat loss was evaluated through comparison of U values and energy savings. Natural light was assessed for illuminance and perceived light levels, whilst design flexibility considered partitions, spatial multifunctionality, and permanent interior elements. Criteria was formulated to analyse the impact of the indicators. There was an increase in U value and energy savings for thermal heat loss, a decrease in illuminance levels yet increase in perceived light in the natural light indicator, 
and the flexible design analysis displayed an increase in multifunctionality and less permanent elements but had a greater amount of partitions. First indicators of face and social show how changing the social meaning of color in Banel. Structure and evidential focused on how conserve the value of structure as symbol of modernism architecture. Space plan and use was the impact on the open space plan related to the change of program and function. The pairs of surface and compare color scheme and social meaning of color as program. In structure, coding analysis for finding the keyword of evidential value, also compare picture for finding add and keep elements. In space plan, compare the plan and find add, keep, and remove elements. Color material used as hierarchical classification by users. At present, color used as design element and had an aesthetic value. There are minimum intervention in structure, and this therefore conserve original value. The open space plan become more limited space through intervention, but this is for the new program. For each domain, the assessment will be a threefold evaluation with equal respect to the chosen indicators. From these graphs, we were able to tell that the architects strive to keep the DNA of the factory while with great concern to prepare the building for possible future transformation. Therefore, the restoration was coherent to its origin and certain acceptable compromises were made. It is rather professional since first priority of any heritage restoration should always be the long-term healthy being instead of the temporary satisfaction of current use.